Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at how to import worlds, blocks, and items into Element 3D for After Effects. The first application that you're going to want to install is Mineways. Now for whichever operating system you're using, Windows or Mac, I'm using Windows currently, so we're going to install the Windows version. Now once it's installed and all the files are in your file explorer, we're going to double click on Mineways.exe and it'll open up this application. So we go to File, Open World and select a world. For this, I'm gonna use Mindful Season 2. Now to navigate around, you left click to drag, you scroll to zoom, and you right click to select a region. Now there are these two sliders at the top and at the bottom, and the max height is essentially the top of your selection. As, as you see, as I change this, it will tell me what the top selection is or what that block height is. So for today, we're going to select it at 100. And the lower depth is the bottom. And we're gonna set that to zero. We're gonna then go to File, Export for Rendering. And we're gonna create a new folder on the desktop called Element 3D Models. And inside there, let's just make another folder called World. Open that up and save this as World. Now it'll come up with a export dialog. You don't actually have to change anything for this, so we'll click OK. Now here in After Effects, we created a new project. Let's create a new composition, call this Minecraft Element 3D World. The duration and resolution should all be relative to what you want in your project. We're going to create a new solid. We're going to call this E3D. And in our effects and presets panel on the right side, go to video copilot and element. Now this is obviously assuming that you have the element plugin installed and have a basic understanding of how it works. So we'll go to the scene setup, import, go to your desktop, find the element 3D models folder, go to world and we'll import world.obj. Click okay. And there we have it. Your world has been imported. We can scroll to zoom in and look around and see how cool that is. Hey, we got our Minecraft world in there now. But as you'll notice, some of the grass textures and the flowers look really disgusting. So we can open up world here in our materials panel, navigate down to the grass and scroll down here on the edit bar and find alpha threshold. And we can change that which will give our textures the proper alpha that they deserve. The same can be done both with dandelions and poppies. Believe it or not, you can actually also do it with the leaves. Look how cool that is. You can make your trees look almost leafless. <laughs> look at that. All right, so we'll click OK, and it's now in our composition. We'll create a new camera, and it's a little bit small. So let's head on back over into Element 3D, Scene Setup, and select the world object. We'll scale it up to 500%, and click OK again, and there we go. We now have a much, much larger and more beautiful looking terrain to look at in our after Effects composition. Now, obviously, the leaves are a little bit disgusting, and uh, well, if we change it to full quality, you'll notice that they kind of drop off, um, and you can see the logs really through it. But that's really up to you, sort of, to tweak all of these settings. I'm just here to show you how to do it. All right, so now let's take a look at how we can import blocks into Element 3D. So you'll download this application, BlockBench, which is a free block model editor for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and Windows 32. And we've got Windows, so we're going to install the Windows version. All right, so now that we've got BlockBench opened up in the background here, I wanted to show you a resource pack that I've created, which has all of the default Minecraft textures and block models. So it's the Java Edition vanilla resource pack. So we'll open that up, head into Assets, Minecraft, go to Models, and block which is what we're going to be working with today so let's find the enchanting table right there perfect we can click and drag this into block bench and the texture and model opens up quite nicely and then we can navigate over to file 
export, export OBJ model. We'll save this in the same element 3D models folder, except we're going to create a new one called enchanting table. So we're going to open up Photoshop and navigate to our desktop folder where we'll find three separate textures for the enchanting table. We're going to open all of these textures and you can see how they're all 16 by 16 pixels. Now Element 3D sees those as incredibly small images. So we're going to head on over to image, image size, and we're going to change the width times 16. Now there's a specific resolution that Element 3D cannot accept, anything beyond 2048. So we're going to change ours to 1024 and leave the resolution at 72 and the resample to nearest neighbor. There we have it. Our texture scales properly without any of the pixel blur. Now we can just press Control S and do the exact same for the, all of the other ones. Now back in After Effects, let's create a new composition called Minecraft Element 3D Block. Once again, create a solid, name it E3D, apply the element effect onto it, go to Scene Setup, and let's import our block model. So we'll go to our enchanting table file, import the .obj, open that up, and there we have it. Our block model has been imported you'll notice how it's incredibly small. So we're going to go to the scale and scale that up by 500%. And there we have it. Our enchanting table has been imported. Now back in our After Effects composition, let's create a new two node camera. What a two node camera is different with a one node is that the camera will have a point of interest. So in the transform, the point of interest is right here. So if we fly around, you'll notice how it kind of locks to one position, but we can move our camera away and then the enchanting table just kind of floating around on its own. So let's go to the element 3D solid, navigate to group, create group null and press create. Now we can press P on the group null and take the squiggly line, the, prob the property pick whip and lock it to the position. That way our camera is forever locked to the enchanting table. And so for the final thing today, we're going to take a look at how we can import an item into Minecraft, for example, a diamond sword. And this time, instead of going to block, we're going to go to item and press D. Let's see if we can find ourselves a diamond sword. There we are. Now, we don't necessarily need a model for this, but we're going to right click on our texture here and click save as. Now on our desktop in the Element 3D models, we'll create a new folder called Diamond Sword, and inside there, we will save it. In Photoshop, we'll navigate to the Diamond Sword and open that up as well, and do the exact same thing as we did before with the image size, changing that to 1024. And there we have it. Click Save. And if we go into After Effects now, we'll create a new composition called Minecraft Element 3D Diamond Sword. Once again, create a new solid. We're going to name this Element 3D, put Element onto it. Now let's import our Diamond Sword texture. And we'll put it onto our composition like so. And under layer, all the way at the bottom, go to auto trace. And we can enable the preview and see how it traces it. If it traces it nicely, we can click OK. Now let's go to element 3D into the effect controls, custom layers, custom text and masks, and change the path layer to diamond sword and change the source to masks. Let's go to Scene Setup and click Extrude. Now we have our Diamond Sword in Element 3D. We can go to the Material, change the Diffuse, we'll load the Diamond Sword texture, and there we have it. Now you'll notice that 
if we go down to the bottom and enable the alpha threshold, let's set it to one. And you can actually see this better if you enable draw back faces that there is a gap in between these two textures. In order to get rid of this, we need to create a new extrusion. Now we'll go to the material and change the diffuse color to a hex value that we find in Photoshop. So press I with the eyedropper tool, select the color you want, and let's grab that hex value here. Go back into After Effects, change the diffuse color to that number, and there we have it. So let's create a camera like we did before, making sure to untick the visibility for the diamond sword, and there we have it. Our diamond sword is all complete. Now all the links are in the description below, Mineways and Blockbench, along with the Minecraft resource pack of all the default Minecraft textures and block models. So I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you learned something, and we'll catch you guys all on the next one.